Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Ryan George as the first guy to ever be an actor named or Jabby. Do you mean actor? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Huh? What? Actor. What's that? You're mispronouncing it. It's actor. Actor. What is happening? <laughs> I said it right. You did say it right. I'm teasing you. You're Oh, my me. God. Okay. I was, I was actually Bonk. talking with you. So uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Thank you, Ryan George, for allowing us to react. It's very, very much appreciated. If you haven't already, subscribe to Ryan George. He's at 1.36 million subscribers. Mother Philippa has climbed fast, and he deserves it. Yes. And so, um, actually, he's been, you know, plugging away at it for a he while. He has, he so. has. I remember when, when you subscribed, he was at just over 100,000. That's right. And I'd like to think I had something to do with helping him get to a million. <laughs> okay. By subscribing to his channel. Subscribe here. And also, that interview helped out too. Oh yeah, that interview was awesome. <laughs> I thought you said we weren't going to talk about it anymore. This isn't not talking about it. I'm not pushing it. it. I'm just mentioning it casually. Low key. Super cash. Barely an inconvenient. Hey there, hello. So guess what? I got some fantastic news. Oh, that's great, my man. All right, I'll see you around. Wait, wait, wait hold up. Can I share it with you? Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll be I'll, I'll be okay with that. All right, so check it out. I came up with a whole new thing that's gonna exist now. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I figure I can <laughs> pretend, right? Pretend what? Just pretend that things and situations are that actually aren't. But professionally, I would. Are you having a stroke? No, I don't <laughs> think so. I'm thinking it would be fun if I behaved as though things were happening that are not. Uh huh. And you, you'd watch me do that. Uh. Pfft. Uh, I don't know, man. This is gonna be my job, I decided. I don't know that pretending is possible as a job. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> so, what? I love this so much because of the cynic inside me. Whenever I watch theater, like, there is that part of me going, I'm just watching you pretend. It's like, I know, I know, like, there are really good plays out there, and sometimes I get lost in them too, but I very rarely get as lost in a play as I do in a movie. And maybe I just haven't seen enough good plays. But like, I'm often aware of the fact that I'm watching people on a stage. Are you aware when you're watching a movie that you're watching people no. in a movie? And not as often, unless, okay. the, unless the movie's terrible. But like, if the movie's really good, I forget that I'm watching a movie and, I'm, and my suspension of disbelief is happening, you know? But the thing is, right, when you boil it down, and I've always thought this, even though I went to a you know, a drama school and studied all different types, including method acting and all that. At the root of it, it's playing pretend. Yeah, and it. actors, I think it's such a cool job because you literally get to do what you did for free as a child and that was so much fun, is to just play pretend. It is now. Are we pretending right now? Is that what this is? No, I haven't started yet. This is me saying things for real. Mm, yeah, okay, I don't, how does this work exactly? <laughs> okay, so you gotta imagine I'm a different person, right? I'm like, I'm not me. Oh, yeah, okay, no problem. I already know who I'm gonna choose. No, wait, no, no, I'm the one who chooses. <laughs> oh, that is such an Aunt Betty thing to say. Okay, this is fun, I like this. No, I love you. <laughs> Betty. No, you're not. I'm gonna pretend to be a person of my choosing. Oh, okay. Sure, that works too. That's how it works. Okay, here we go. You ready? Am I ready? Uh, yeah, I assume so. Okay, great, because here goes. Oh, music. Yes, yeah, sometimes that'll be part of it. Now shut up. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> my father was a bit of a drinker. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. But no, you can't Talk. Yes, I can. I'm doing it right now. Well, don't. You know, please don't while I'm doing this. I'm sorry. I just, I never knew about Steve. It's, I'm not talking about my real father. <laughs> oh, well, I assumed you were talking about your dad, Steve, because you said my father. I know I did. I was pretending to be someone whose father's an alcoholic. Oh. Uh... Okay, Jeremy from work. No, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Jeremy's a guy I work with. His dad's a big time alcoholic. This is like a fictional guy. No, Jeremy's real. I saw him just this morning by the copy machine. I'm sure you did. Me too. I am just pretending to be someone who doesn't exist as someone we don't know. I got it. I totally understand now. I'm, I got it. You do? I und- Yep. All right. I'm, cause I'm just gonna jump right back into it. That works for me. Okay? All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> But that struggle with my father made me into one of the best detectives working today. You're not a detective. But don't talk. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just you're not. You work at the dry cleaners and you're terrible at it. I'm pretending to be a cop. This isn't that complicated. That's actually, that's super illegal. You cannot impersonate a police officer. They don't like that. I, you know, in this context, it's fine. It's okay, I decided. That's not up to you, I don't think. Yes, it is. Shut up. Stop it now. Okay. 
this city isn't what it used to be. Every street corner is <laughs> crawling. Can we pause there for a moment? Oh my god, what now? I just, I feel like there should be a break in this thing so I could go pee. Okay. I also kind of have, like, this is giving me this urge to eat some corn. But corn? Yeah, just kind of exploded corn that feels like a good snack right about now. That sounds like the loudest snack. Please don't eat that while I'm pretending. I'm gonna eat that while you're pretending. I'm gonna go try this on someone else, I think. Oh, okay, bye. Goodbye. Oh, actually, no, wait, what's up? I'd actually love for you to take this picture of me along with you, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, no, no thank you. Yeah, no, that's for you in case you ever need someone to do some pretending for you, you know? Now you'll know what my face looks like that close. I... I'll be in touch. Yes. <laughs> Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the astronaut. That's I'm like the an classic <laughs> thing that they say to you after an audition as well. Thank you, we'll be in touch. Uh -huh. You're never gonna be in touch, you're never gonna call me ever again. Oh, they, they, always, they always called me. <laughs> That's when you go like this. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see if there's anything here. Add space to talk to you about Noom. So listen, with my busy job of pressing spaceship buttons I don't fully understand, I've often put my health second. But thankfully, Noom is helping me live a whole lot healthier and make better choices throughout the day. Noom is a digital health platform that helps people reach their health goals using psychology and science. In fact, Noom has this whole science-based curriculum that's helped improve my relationship with food. Which used to just be, eat so much of it, I feel ill. Thanks to Noom's lessons, I've learned a bunch of useful info. Like that reaching for foods with a lower caloric can you density relate? can help me feel fuller throughout yeah. the day. Yeah, so as someone who has been paid to act, and someone who has run countless auditions for casting directors. Yeah. I, I think I've auditioned, I estimated it. I've seen actors over 30,000 times. Now, wow. keep in mind that a lot of people in this town, you know, come back for callbacks and other auditions. A lot of the top tier actors work all the time, and so you see them a lot. In those 30,000, 40,000 sessions, I might have seen the same actors many, many, many times, right? Yeah, I remember at school they said something like, you're considered a successful actor if you're one of the top 10% that is constantly right. working. Yeah. And so with all that in mind, there's still that like cynical part of me when I think about the film industry sometimes and even acting and whatnot. Like sometimes I think it's mainly the acting where I get kind of cynical when I watch people like take do interviews and they're very serious about it. You commented on the, about, about this not that long ago where you were watching a press conference and there was an actor in there who was quite serious about like his craft yeah and when i'm like oh my god <laughs> like that's my feeling about it. i'm like really dude if you're doing something like daniel day lewis kind of role absolutely i'm gonna hear what you gotta say you know i want to hear about how you went on this two-year journey to become the dude from there will be blood right you know what i mean or yeah. lincoln or whoever else he's played like i want to hear about that process because that's insane but otherwise Get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't really want to hear about it that much. Okay, here's a great case in point. I was watching the behind the scenes of Scarface and Al Pacino started talking about what drew him to the role. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, ugh, you just ruined. You ruined the magic. It was cool. Just leave it alone. Like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Well, because sometimes, like you said, you know, you really do have to do that deep work if, if the character is like immensely complicated and they've got like a trauma or something like yeah there's a lot of fun in doing the research and learning new things in mm -hmm. order to be that character but you know sometimes if it's, if it's a pretty straightforward character you just read the damn script right just read the lines and read them like a person and and do the thing just right. act well just that's act. What, there was a marvel actor who would come in for an audition i was running like i'm so used to the commercial acting process where i'm like slight your name blah 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 but for this one he was like already in character when he walked in mm -hmm. and so he was like he was like grounding himself and getting himself like psyched up and doing his, his thing before he went into the scene. Oh my god, all right. Gosh, nice. <laughs> now this guy's a working actor. He's so clearly doing something he's right. He's doing something yeah. right. And I'm just a dumb asshole who's on the side judging him. But like he's working and he's been working since he was a kid. So he obviously understands his process and eat to each their own. Yeah. But as an outsider, I can't help but sort of laugh as this cynical person in my head, like, relax, guy. It's just some words you're gonna say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, I've auditioned for big movies and not booked them, and so I know, like, I probably could have benefited from, like, that centering of myself and whatnot, and, like, having a little bit of pretentious attitude when I come in the room, because then you kind of own the space. 
You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe pretentious. Calling it pretentious makes it uh, have a negative connotation in your mind. Well, certainly it does, but that's the point. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, yeah, you can take it more seriously. Sure. Yeah, Yeah, it's a craft. I think that it's just because for me personally, I have found that I have not only the most fun, but the best results when I just do it. And yeah. it's like, I'm not yeah. I'm not trying to like put slashes and stuff like that and whatever and like make it this bigger. It's like, okay, what are the lines? All right, let me just like get these lines down and just do it. Well, yeah, go when, from there. When kids play make believe, there's no preparation. It's yeah. like literally, I'm a wizard. Yeah. And now, so I am. But you've called me like naturalistic. And so that's, I guess that's my approach, right? That being said, I do love actors who are able to find that space and pretend like um, Alec Guinness, fantastic actor. If you've ever watched him do anything that wasn't Star Wars, it's like, who? that's the same dude? Obviously he had his whole process. Went on. All this to say, I respect the process as much as I'm making fun of it and, and taking jabs at it. I do respect the process. Don't get me wrong, because there's obviously some amazing actors out there who are like, we just watched um, Oscar Isaac do a reaction to his own trailer for Moon Knight and he's making fun of himself. But I'm like, dude, you did a great job. Like, <laughs> why are you making fun of yourself? You know, you obviously found your center and did that character and you like really owned it. But there's a part of me that's also very cynical and likes to laugh about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think you kind of have to be able to laugh at yourself, right? It's not that serious. So when he was doing the thing like playing the music and like doing the centering and all that, I'm just like, exactly. Like, obviously Ryan George is making fun of that. And in my head, I was doing the same thing when I'm auditioning certain people. Okay, perfect example was um, I was running a commercial audition. All this guy had to do was like sit-ups or something. It was something stupid. Yeah. Like he's on the ground. It's at 7700 Sunset where I met you and all he's got to do is like do some sit-ups or something. Casting directors would, would hit me with like 150 actors a day or something like absurd. 200 actors a day. I'm like, yo, like I got eight hours to do this, but... <laughs> in, out. Yeah. And so I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get people in and out, right? This guy comes in, I'm trying to just, okay, what's your name? All right, cool. Can you just do this? He's like, hold on a second. Like, all right, roll the camera. I'm like, you're just doing exercises, guy. No one cares. Here's the secret about commercial acting that a lot of people don't realize. Talent often has little to do with it. Oftentimes, it's just, do they like the look? Do they happen to like you that day? And do they happen to like you the day of the callback? That's it. Like, yes, skill has something to do with it. Acting ability has something to do with it. But oftentimes, the fact, the main factor is, do they like how you look that day? And do they like how you look on the day of the callback? Does your personality vibe with them? Yeah. You know, uh, it's yeah. a personality thing more than anything else. I think that working in the commercial casting industry has sort of jaded me, is what it comes down to. So that I really enjoy this kind of thing, <laughs> where he's making fun of it. Anyway, I enjoyed the shit out of this video. Hopefully, you guys did too. Don't hate me. I'm Jabby Koei. This is... Achara Peace out.